Bonjour mes élèves, c'est Madame D. Comment allez-vous Bien Moi, je vais très bien. Today, we are going to learn how to express ourselves when it comes to the things that we like the most or dislike the most. As I mentioned to you all in class, en français, there are so many ways to talk about the things we like the most or the least. But we are only going to focus on three levels of liking and disliking. So let's start with our likes. When we like something in general, we say j'aime bien. J'aime bien. When we like something a lot, we say j'aime beaucoup. J'aime beaucoup. And when we love something, we like something with the passion, we say j'adore. J'adore. Now, let's talk about our dislikes. When we do not like something in general, we say, je n'aime pas. Je n'aime pas. When we do not like something at all, we say, je n'aime pas du tout. Je n'aime pas du tout. And when we dislike something to the point of hating it, then we say, je déteste. Je déteste. So here are three levels of liking and disliking that we are going to focus on. For our likes, j'aime bien, j'aime beaucoup, j'adore. For our dislikes, je n'aime pas. Je n'aime pas du tout. Je déteste. To enrich a conversation about likes and dislikes, it is always better to be able to ask questions in order to receive answers. So, in this case, we are going to focus on one main way of asking someone what they like and what they dislike. Here is the question. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes? What do you like? Qu'est-ce que tu aimes? Écoutez et répétez. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes? Encore une fois. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes? Très bien. Now, the answer to that question is pretty simple. J'aime bien, or j'aime beaucoup, or j'adore. And you just add that thing that you like. To emphasize on the fact that it is your like, you can also answer with the preposition moi. Moi, j'aime bien, or moi, j'aime beaucoup, or moi, j'adore. And you add the thing that you like. Same thing if we were to ask this question in the negative form. Instead of, qu'est-ce que tu aimes? The question becomes, qu'est-ce que tu n'aimes pas? Qu'est-ce que tu n'aimes pas? Écoutez. Et répétez. Qu'est-ce que tu n'aimes pas? Qu'est-ce que tu n'aimes pas? Très bien. And now the answer to that question, just like for qu'est-ce que tu aimes, would be Je n'aime pas. Je n'aime pas du tout. Or je déteste. And again, to emphasize that that is your preference, your position, you can emphasize by using the preposition moi, me, moi, and answer this way. Moi, je n'aime pas. Moi, je n'aime pas du tout. 
or moi, je déteste. And you would add the thing that you do not like. So here is a new set of vocabulary words of everyday things and activities that we do or consume that we like or may not like. So let's go over them so that you can master their pronunciation. I will not translate as the image speak for themselves. Now, focus. Écoutez et répétez. Dormir. Manger. Lire. Écrire. Chanter. Danser. Cuisiner. Jouer. Jardiner. Marcher. Courir. Nager. Skier. As I mentioned to you for the following sports, the main keywords are used with a verb, the verb jouer, that you encountered about a minute ago. So, for example, for basketball, we would say jouer au basket, which would mean playing basketball. Écoutez et répétez. Jouer au basket. Jouer au foot. Jouer au volet. Jouer au baseball. Jouer au tennis. Jouer au football américain. And lastly, for gymnastics, we do not use the term jouer, which is to play but rather the term faire, which is to do, to make. So we say we do gymnastics. Faire de la gymnastique. Écoutez et répétez. Faire de la gymnastique. Faire de la gymnastique. As I mentioned to you in class before, most words in the French language have a gender. They would either be masculine or feminine. Those words, when they are used with an article, a definite or indefinite article, which means a word like the or a, un, those are definite or indefinite articles, we have to use articles that are also masculine and feminine and that match the gender of the word. So, for example, if the first word here, which is O, is a masculine word, we would use the article LE in front of it. If O is a feminine word, we would use in front of it the article LA, which is a feminine article. And if O was a word in the plural form because there's many waters. So we would use the definite article les, L-E-S, as you see presented in front of some other words here. In this case, O is not masculine and is not plural. It is a feminine word. So we will use la. But you see that there is an apostrophe. So as mentioned to you in class, in the French language, when an article ends with a vowel and the word that follows it starts as well with a vowel, the vowel of the article gets eaten up and absorbed and replaced with 
an apostrophe. So because the word O is a feminine word, normally we would have had la O. But because la, the A of la is a vowel, and the E of O is a vowel, the A of la will get absorbed and will disappear and be replaced with an apostrophe. And now we have the sound lo instead of la o. Does that make sense? La is the article that we place in front of feminine words. Le is the article that we place in front of masculine words. And le is the article that we place in front of words that are in the plural form, whether they are masculine and feminine. Le is the plural of both forms. All right, so let's get through these new vocabulary words. Écouter et répéter. L'eau. Le jus de fruits. Le lait. Les smoothies. Les pancakes. Les gaufres. Les céréales. Les beignets. La glace. Les biscuits. Les macarons. You noticed that most of the consonants that are at the end of these words, whether it's the T at the end of fruit or the T at the end of le or the S at the end of smoothie or the T and S at the end of beignet, the S at the end of céréal, the S at the end of gaufre, the S at the end of pancake, the T and S at the end of biscuit, and the S at the end of macaron, without forgetting the S at the end of all the article le, are not pronounced. En français, we do not pronounce the ending consonants, like S or T, for example, here. Les pommes, les oranges, les bananes, les fraises, les raisins, les cerises, les kiwis, les noix de coco, les ananas. Les melons, la pastèque. All right, so you will notice over here that the words that have a plural article le in front of it, but that starts with a vowel, like for example, orange or ananas, you will notice that I connect the sound of the S of le with the sound of the beginning vowel of the word. So, for example, for orange, because it has le in front of it, the S of the le gets connected to the O of orange and it sounds like a Z and an O together. Les oranges. And this is a, it's called a liaison, it's a rule of connection that is used in the French language with words that end with consonants and that are followed by words that begin with vowels. Le riz, les pommes de terre, les pâtes. Les frites, la pizza, les sandwiches, les hamburgers, les hot dogs, 
Now you will notice here again that the ending consonants in the word ri, for example, is a z and it is not pronounced. You will also notice that, of course, the ending consonants s to mark plural is not pronounced. But also, and importantly, the h in hamburger in English, which is hamburger en français, and hot dog en français, versus hot dog in English, those H's are not pronounced. And I created a liaison without, with, um, excuse me, the S of lait and the A sound of hamburger, les hamburgers. Hot dog, interestingly enough, Sometimes, en français, people say les hot dogs or les hot dogs, and they don't create the liaison over here. Either or is fine with me. Les légumes, le poisson, les brochettes, le steak, le poulet. Now, you will notice that in front of the skewers, the steak, and the chicken, I have placed the word la viande. That is because I also wanted you to know the name of the group of these meats. Viande means meat. This way you know how to say fish, poisson, meat, viande, and vegetables, légumes. All right, mes amis, our lesson is complete. You now have everything that you need to be able to practice how to express your likes and dislikes of hobbies as well as foods. So here is your homework project. You are going to make a short presentation of your likes and dislikes in the form of a short video message. So here are the steps that you are going to follow. Number one, I would like you to carefully listen to the recording of how these vocabulary words regarding hobbies and foods are pronounced. Of all those words, I would like you to make a list of six things that you like and six things that you dislike. In the six things that you like, three of them should be part of the group of hobbies and activities, and three of them should be part of the group of foods. Same thing for your dislikes. Three of them will be part of the group of activities and hobbies, and three of them should be part of the group of foods. So what I would like you to do when it comes to activities and hobbies, I would like you to express one activity that you like with the expression j'aime bien. One activity that you like a lot with the expression j'aime beaucoup. And one activity that you love with the expression j'adore. Then I would like you to share with me one activity that you dislike in general with the expression je n'aime pas. One activity that you do not like at all with the expression je n'aime pas du tout. And one activity that you hate with the expression je déteste. That will give you six sentences about three activity and hobbies that you like and three activities and hobbies that you dislike. Then I would like you to move on to the group of foods. There, I would like you to select three kinds of food and drinks that you like. One that you will express with the expression, j'aime bien. One that you will discuss with the expression, j'aime beaucoup. And one that you will discuss with the expression, j'adore. And for the foods and drinks that you dislike, 
I want you to select one that you will discuss with the expression je n'aime pas, one that you will discuss with the expression je n'aime pas du tout, and one that you will discuss with the expression je déteste. That gives you a second set of six sentences. Three of foods and drinks that you like, three of food and drinks that you dislike. You will now have a total of 12 sentences. Six sentences about your likes and dislikes of activities and hobbies, and six sentences about your likes and dislikes about food and drinks. Once you have gathered that, because you have a whole weekend and about four days, I want you to take the time to practice to the best of your abilities how to make those 12 sentences and statements so that you can send me a recording with your best version of your mastery of pronunciation. Once you have your 12 sentences and you have practiced enough and you are ready to record yourself, this is what I want you to do. You take your phone with the camera on and this is what you are going to say to me. Bonjour, Madame D. Say, and then your name. Moi, j'aime bien manger. J'aime beaucoup dormir. J'adore marcher. Moi, je n'aime pas nager. Je n'aime pas Pas du tout skier. Je déteste courir. J'aime bien l'eau. J'aime beaucoup les smoothies. J'adore la glace. Je n'aime pas les légumes. Je n'aime pas du tout le poisson. Je déteste l'eau. Voilà! Au revoir, Madame D. This is what I want you to send me. But of course, you are going to fill in your statements with your own likes and dislikes. So this was just an example of what your video should look and sound like. D'accord? Très bien! Well, bonne chance, mes amis! Good luck, my friends! Bonne chance, mes amis. I can't wait to receive your messages. Au revoir. À bientôt.